Spencer from the Beast of Bourbon and you're watching Moshcam. The next one. Always the next one. Always the one you haven't done. It's, it's, a, it's, um, it's like chasing the sun, really. The best gig ever. It's always over the hill. Always, always just out of reach. That's why we keep doing what we do. If you did the best gig you've ever done, you'd probably stop. So, I hope to never have get that feeling. That is the best gig I will ever do. I will never have that feeling. I will make sure I never get that feeling. One of the more memorable shows that I've ever done was with the Beast of Bourbon and Iggy Pop. And I think we did Louie Louie with him. We jammed with him. That was a lot of fun. But then again, I don't know that that was the best gig I've ever done, but it was certainly, um, a, a very, very memorable night. Uh, that was uh, about 12 years ago um, in at the palace in Melbourne. Try 21 years ago. Was it? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that was in 90, yeah. 92. Wow. That was the tours, the side shows with the big, that big, big day out. When, when Larry was a stoner with hair down to his ass. Mm. Larry and Eric. Yeah. How? Party animal. We don't have any sort of uh, Keith Moons or sort of. Uh, I mean, Spencer's done a, whole, a few things that could go, go go down in rock history. So so have I. But I don't know. Um, we're not. None of us are sort of uh, chucking televisions, televisions out the window kind of people. Uh, you know, uh, we're. Sometimes we drink or take too many um, uh, lollies home with us. Sometimes we have a little bit too much of that. Um, sometimes things get broken, but it's not through a deliberate sort of uh, rock prank act or anything. Sometimes drunk people break things, that's all I can say. But, uh, but now there are no party animals. Or maybe Spencer has a different answer. No, I don't. No, I think we're all, we've got to the point now where um, I think we've all had our we've all done our ten minutes of uh, our fifteen minutes of party animal fame, and now we're just uh, now we're just trying to get through the next thirty years of our existence. Thirty. <laughs> I'll, I'll take. It's our thirtieth anniversary. I'll, take 15, I'll, I'll be happy with fifteen. That's like one where you, the sun it comes up and you're still going, right? Yeah, been so many. Um, well, back in the day it was. We don't do any of that stuff. Temporary death? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Little deaths? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, broken, bro well, yeah, broken arms. Broken arms, broken arms. Uh, uh, I've got, I've got some stitches down here from uh, oh, yeah. having a perforated stomach. Um, mm. yeah, no, it was nobody's fault but mine, I guess. Um, but uh, no, 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 I wouldn't say that we've, uh, you know, had any real horrific. Well, we have. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hard to. It's hard to pick just one, isn't it? Really? Yeah. There are always injuries. Yeah. It's like you know, it's like a football game or any sort of physical sort of pumped up sort of activity. You, know, you don't, you know, you don't feel the pain until about half an hour after it's over. I mean, that, and sometimes you don't even know how you got that. I mean, why is my hand hurting? A spider bit you. Oh. <laughs> Well, that was the, that was on my toe. Yeah, I've got insect bites from Byron Bay. Lots of them. I mean, I'm seriously, you know. Yeah, we, he can show you. The one. Take off your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Yeah. I'm only it's okay. Seat, seat me like that again. <laughs> now, what is that? What the hell is that? Look at that. Byron Bay. 
Oh, he wasn't even barring by his tweed heads. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> I sold one of my hats uh, to a guy in Vienna for 200 euros. And, and you know, that was enough to buy about 12 more hats. I sold, I sold my golf shoes in, uh, in Hamburg, I think it was, that I've been wearing all tour yeah. to somebody for about 50 euros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy you a hat? I love your hat. Can I buy it? I said, it's not for sale, dude. And like, just persist, persist, persist. And eventually I said, look, you know, if you want this hat that bad, you know, I'll sell it to you, but I'm not going to sell it for less than to say 200 euros, you know, this is my hat, you know, and um, oh, that's just a lot of money. And then, yeah, great, got rid of that guy. And at the end of the night, he turns up with like 200 <laughs> euros, like, all right, all right, okay, have the hat. I can't remember why. The golf shoes. The golf, um, but yes. <clears throat> they were golf shoes that Tim Rogers gave me. So uh, I think that sort of gave him a little bit more <laughs> the dude would have known where they came from, though, would he? Well, he knew Tim Rogers, he knew me. Uh, and he, oh, so you divulged to him at some point yes. that Tim had given you these shoes. And the, maybe that was the clincher that... Uh, <laughs> that uh, yeah, Nothing yes. like a bit of a profit, is there? Out of, you know, clothes that should be in the bin. And, uh, the couple making love while we played and she was seated with her back to me and the <laughs> dude was, you know, they were getting it on, wrote a song about it. <laughs> <laughs> we had love on stage, we sure did. Is that, is that in the lyrics of Bad Revisited? Yeah. Fuck, I've forgotten that. We, I've not been singing that bit. <laughs> no. Oh, don't, don't worry, I don't either. I don't. <laughs> no, but that was in one of the original lines, and we changed some lines, and we, we got to... Fuck, we've got to put, yeah. put that one back in. New Zealand? <laughs> oh, yeah, Adelaide, yeah. yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> like, come, come, yeah. I made it back to the hotel to find blood everywhere, door smashed, uh, uh, glass around, and, and, and like a cigarette in the ashtray that was smouldering, but no beast of bourbon anywhere. And I, I guess I must have missed them by <laughs> half a minute. <laughs> and then I missed the flight, and I had no money. But some, <laughs> somehow, I think, um, Ken West and Vivian Lees managed to talk to the airline and to put me on another flight. <laughs> Adelaide. Oh, what, was, what, what was the explanation for the blood everywhere? Well, I don't know. I've, that, that's why I asked you guys, like, what the hell happened? Like, there was still a cigarette burning. You well, know, it must have been Brian and Tony. Yeah. Powell's Court. Oh, that night? Yeah. <laughs> right. So only you could tell me oh, about yeah, the yeah. blood. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that was Brian bleeding everywhere after. And we shouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> Not with the beasts. We've had, had the cops raid a few shows. Yeah. Go through the crowd and search everybody. Come away with quite a whole lot of people. In Europe. Uh, no, we pay them off. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, they seem to be, um, you know, customs guys checking us out a lot. I don't know why. We look like such nice boys. We've all been, I'm sure we've all been strip searched at some point. <laughs> 